Welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark. I hope you all are having a fantastic day or evening. In today's story, P found out his wife cheated on him with her boss after he saw some crazy texts of what they did in his car. The P is planning on getting revenge by exposing the affair to everyone. Now, let's get into today's story to find out what happened. We were a couple of four years in our early thirties living together with no children. There were some issues with sex and intimacy. I wanted her to go to therapy because she was struggling with her emotions and speaking about them, but she was too scared. The last time we kissed was in July and she just wasn't there. From that moment, her attitude changed. She became distant and impatient. Two weeks later, we had a night out with friends after work and she brought her boss along. That was the first time I met the guy and he told me that I seem friendly but we were playing on two teams because he fancied my GF. When I spoke to my GF about it, she acted surprised and assured me nothing was going on. She became even more distant and hostile. I tried to get through to her but she would get angry and gas like me claiming I was imagining things. I decided to make more effort and take her out more often. But her mind was always somewhere else. Then on our holiday trip, she told me that she didn't feel anything the last time we kissed and that there was no desire for me, but it didn't mean she wanted to break up. We decided to continue the conversation after the trip. When we got back, I noticed she became glued to her phone. She did more activities not involving me. I was still in denial. One Friday, she texted me that she was going for a beer with her boss. When confronted, she only said you want me to ask for permission. It was just a beer. She broke up with me. Two days later, I said that I felt like we could work through our issues with couples therapy. And if she went to therapy herself, she started having doubts about the breakup and said she would look for a therapist. When I asked if she met someone, she admitted to texting her boss a lot. He was hitting on her and it boosted her ego. He also invited her to join him on his holiday in Croatia in October. She wasn't planning to go. I was angry but believed her when emotions settled. The next day, I felt like that story just didn't add up. So I checked her messenger and it turned out to be a full-blown affair. She detailed everything to her two closest friends. It lasted a month. They kissed each other a few times and went on numerous dates. They agreed he would follow her lead and she would set the boundaries. She considered it might be just a temporary crush but wanted to see where it lead dates and kisses were initiated by her. She said to her friends that it would be a shame if they didn't have sex. She was seriously considering going with him on that trip. They were making out in his car outside her flat and at work. She bragged to her friends that she finally got a romance at work type of story and how exciting it was my view of her shattered in the conversations. She acted like a teenager having the first crush in her life. They had a date planned on the day my aunt died and she complained to her friends, she had to cancel because of that. I even helped her buy him a gift on our trip which was supposed to be for her friend. It hurt like hell. And man, her friends disgusted me. They cheered her on telling things like I envy you and the butterflies in your stomach take what you can from this and don't tell your boyfriend. One of them even offered to cover for her so she could go to Croatia with him. They never mentioned that it was wrong and she could lose her job. I also saw Liv how she wrote to her friends that the breakup with me was probably a big mistake and that we would most likely get together soon. But she needed therapy to figure things out. She also set up a meeting with her boss four days after our breakup. I was never cheated on and I thought that physical stuff would hurt the most. But wow. Was I wrong? It was the lies and manipulations and how easy it was for her. The cruelty of stuff she did and said I wanted to believe she was lost. The decision to go to therapy seemed genuine, but so much of the stuff I read seemed calculated on the evening of D-Day. She was in tears and asked if we could talk because she felt like the breakup was a huge mistake. I said we could talk in two days. I needed time to gather my thoughts and see my therapist first. 
I also wanted to get all things out of her apartment before that part of me still loved her and hoped she will want to change and fight for us. But deep down, I knew there was no going back from some of this shit. It will stay in my head forever. I didn't think she was all evil, but now I discovered a part of her that was disgusting. I wanted to know why. And I hoped that when the whole thing was uncovered, she would offer me the truth since it would be most likely the last time we would ever speak when we finally met. She said how she wasn't sure about her feelings and what she wanted that she needed time to figure it out with the therapist. I straight up told her, I read all her texts. I asked why she didn't tell me when I gave her so many chances. And she said not to hurt you. And because I was ashamed, it was a rationalization, of course, which made me angry. She was supposed to confess after we would get back together. I of course said it was bullshit because she knew I wouldn't want to fix stuff after that questions about details made her defensive. At times, she tried to lessen the whole thing. She explained that she felt wanted and finally something was happening, but it wasn't worth it in the end. She claimed she didn't really mean some of the stuff she wrote. She didn't want to have sex with him or go on that trip. She wasn't even sure if she liked him. I asked, why would I believe her and not my eyes? And she said that she didn't know why she wrote that stuff and felt ashamed. She also said it was her biggest mistake in life and that she felt like trash for hurting me and regretted not going to therapy sooner and that I deserved someone better. I agreed, she apologized. I asked how she could be so dumb as to risk her job. And she said that it was not my problem anymore. She told me that she set up a meeting with him on Friday to ask him for a break to figure out what she wanted. I saw misery on her face. I said that I felt extremely disappointed and I didn't know who she was anymore. She replied that she didn't know either but was determined to find out during her therapy. When I asked about us, she said it was most likely unfixable. I finished by saying that I didn't know if I would ever forgive her and hope she found the answers that she sought during her therapy. Then I left. It was the hardest conversation in my life. In the end, I didn't receive the answers I wanted. And what I did receive was disappointing and insincere, it hurt me that she wasn't honest. Even when I confronted her, I'm angry at myself that I hope she would want to fix it. And I still catch myself having these thoughts. Even after a week, this is naive and I know that I want to be loved by someone who hurt me so much. It's so dumb. I hope these thoughts will go away sooner rather than later. I know I should focus on myself and improve my life, but it's so difficult to move on. I'm angry and jealous that the affair is most likely still going and she enjoys her time with someone else when the corpse of our relationship is still fresh and I'm suffering. Dealing with losing your home and your partner and the feeling of betrayal is overwhelming at times. A ton of you suggested I should report the affair to Auer at her company and also blow it up to all her friends and family. I understand the reasoning and I've already spoken to my therapist about it. She told me that I should consider whether such an action would actually help me or just add to my misery. I decided that I will do that because it will help me heal from what she's put me through. I want to heal and it's the best thing I can do at the moment. I feel better when I don't think about her. I plan on also telling her parents and close mutual friends. So she doesn't try to spin the narrative on what happened. Hey, P. She is a product of the environment that she surrounds herself with. She chooses to be around shitty human beings. Ergo, she becomes a shitty human being. Therapy won't change her until she improves her environment. As long as she continues to surround herself with poor influences, the same things will happen. Her relationship with her boss won't last. He'll get what he wants from her and then move on to a fresh target. I just want to say that with time you will become a lot stronger because of this. You will know the signs early and you'll be far less likely to put up with it. As long, moreover, she's broken what they say about affairs and it being on the person who had it is completely true, whether it be a perceived flaw that you have or nothing at all. It doesn't change the fact that she went out and did what she did. Instead of communicating like an adult that's on her. 
She's going to have to forever live with the fact that she hurt somebody that cared about her and not only are her reasonings, shallow and materialistic, but both of them will be miserable before long. It's a relationship that's built like a house of cards. She will never be able to trust him because like who would date somebody that's already in a relationship knowingly and he will never be able to trust her for precisely the same reason. I wish you the best of luck. Now, let's get into today's second story, guys and gals. I'm not doing so well. I'm going to try and keep things as brief as possible because I'm on my phone. I never thought I would ask this, but I need some support even if you all are just internet strangers. You are all that. I have background. My wife, 27 female and I 25 male have been married for over 5 years and have been together for more than 7. We have two beautiful little ones together. She is a full-time student. I work full-time. I make enough money for us to pay the bills and eat but not much more. Our relationship has had its ups and downs. Some points were pretty rough. We separated twice, but we always worked it out and learned from our mistakes and grew together situation. My wife and went to town today to run errands was not fun. We brought the kids and it was just one thing after the other that kept starting fights for no reason. She started saying some pretty hurtful things and granted, I'm sure what I was saying probably passed her off too. But I told her I was only trying to communicate about the issue so that we could just address it and be done with it. But she just kept telling me to be silent and not talk to her when we got home. It was around 9 p.m. We got the kids inside and she was in the bedroom getting dressed up when I confronted her about why she was putting on heels and perfumes. She said I'm going to get dry shampoo. This was obviously a red flag and all. But I wanted to trust her and she has done this before where she really does go get what she needs and then comes back as she was leaving. I was still just like, let me come with you. Your sister can watch the kids for us. She's living with us temporarily. She refused and then drove off. So I do what any doting dad does and I got the kids to sleep. Well, I was also watching the bank account to see if she was being truthful with me. 30 minutes later, I saw a charge at the place she was going and I was thinking, okay, everything's good. Right. I was just overthinking things. She loves me. Right. Yeah. Well, several hours passed by and I hadn't so much as heard from her. I was starting to worry. So I texted and called but I got a notification that I had been blocked by her. I own the phones. I was thinking, wait, what happened was she okay? Well, as time passed and passed, I was staying awake thinking in my head about every single thing that could be happening while I awaited her coming home. The thought crossed my mind that maybe she could be cheating on me, but I refused to believe that and continued to give the benefit of the doubt. Here's where it got real around 5 a.m. She came into the house trying to be quiet and putting some groceries away. She thought I was asleep. She put her phone on the counter and I grabbed it and snuck into the bedroom while she was distracted and on her Snapchat, I found a message she had sent to some guy thanking him for a wonderful night. As she came into the bedroom, I confronted her with an emotional tone of, I was worried about you and God. So help me, you better start explaining. Well, when she looked up at me, I saw her lipstick smeared all over her face. Her eyeshadow was smeared and her makeup in general just looks disheveled. Her hair was frizzy almost like she ran home or something and her breath from four feet away, read of alcohol. I was destroyed. Seven years of time. Energy, money and love just washed down the drain as my heart fell to my feet. Thoughts of the other guy and what happened ran through my mind. I got pissed and broke her phone right in front of her as I called her out on the bullshit and you know what she had to say about it, that I was delusional and needed help that she didn't cheat on me. I continued to go off on her hoping to get some kind of emotional response from her that would indicate remorse, but none was shown I'm at a loss. I can't understand this. Am I being delusional here? Is she right about me? Can all of that stuff be explained rationally? Even if it can. 
I don't know how to move forward because I can't afford a divorce. I married this woman because I thought she and I were going to build a life together for us and our family chase our dreams and all that shit. Who does this to someone? Like really no matter how much you fight or argue or things go stale. How do you just throw everything away for one night? How is that worth it? I just need support guys. Advice is appreciated too. Obviously, if she really did cheat on me, I'm going to have to get divorced. I can put up with a lot of shit, but I can't deal with betrayal. I really don't even believe in divorce because of my religious beliefs. But like I said, betrayal is something I can't do. Are there any Christians in here who are also willing to advise all support is welcomed? Thank you. Hey, I do not understand why religious people state their religion for staying with a cheater. She is gaslighting you. You don't come home at 5 a.m. all disheveled with a thank you for the great evening. If nothing happened, this guy is probably a co-worker. My heart goes out to you. There is a lot of pain coming your way. Whatever you chose to do, see a lawyer as soon as possible to see where you stand and take his advice. Search for and read up on the 180 Gray Rock Methods. Implement them immediately. Act as indifferent towards your wife as you can. She will notice, you will notice that she starts acting more attentive. She starts seeming bothered by your lack of attention, by your lack of doing things for her around the house. This will further confirm to you that she is likely cheating. She wants to have her cake and eat it too. Don't let her have that good luck. Thank you for taking the time to listen to today's stories. If you enjoyed the stories, please feel free to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also comment below with your thoughts.